So this is a 2015 Ford Fiesta SE. And you know, I honestly didn't think that her and I were gonna come home with a car at all, to be honest with you. Um, but let alone a car that is this new and in this perfect condition. Um, we've actually owned it now uh, for two days. This is, uh, this will be the second full day, I should say. Never really had a car that was still under its original warranty. It's great, it's a great feeling. Um, the mirrors, they're fully powered, they're heated. We also got the turn signal markers on the on the sides. They're not on, but you know. It's got blind spot mirrors also. Color matching door handles. It's got these optional rims. Uh, this, I have the original window sticker at home. Actually, we'll film that also. But um, these rims were optional. It's part of the SE appearance package. Uh, these are 16 inch rims, uh, eight spoke. Obviously, they're um, got the black finish. Inside is done in charcoal. There are floor mats, but you know we're trying to keep the papers down there. So, um, like I said, for how small <laughs> the car actually is, I am quite comfortable in it. Very, very quiet engine. Finally, have a car that has the My Ford Touch infotainment system on it. This thing is powered by a 1.6 liter four cylinder, uh, twin independent variable camshaft timing. I don't know the horsepower rating right now. I'm, I'm assuming, honestly, it's probably not a whole lot, but this car flies. Um, probably just because it's very tiny and it's very light um, but this car can go and I've had a fun time driving this car already like like I said I can't believe how much fun <laughs> this little tiny car is but it's a blast <laughs> I see the engine you're all here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, you have to push down the seats, huh? Eh? Yep. Wow. <laughs> kind of like a hatchback. Kind of.
stupid little mirror cover uh, has broken off of the sun visor. And honestly, not a big deal. Obviously not a big deal at all. This thing is not any, it has no importance whatsoever and does not affect uh, any of the driving conditions or such, the, any of the functionability of the car whatsoever. Um, but the only reason why I want it replaced is because it's a new car, it's a newer car, and honestly, stuff like this should not be happening when the car is only two years old. Um, so there's that, and plus the one thing that I keep forgetting, because I've never had a car this new before, is it's still under its original factory bumper to bumper warranty. So. This whole sun visor is being replaced at no cost. Here we go. Oh boy, she's doing it. Nope. <laughs> well, I figured that was going to happen. And then there's also the 2015 Ford Fiesta, which we have had for uh, over a year and a half now. We're going to be going on two years in January. This upcoming January will be two years. This car has been phenomenal. Um, as far as our ownership uh, goes, but I had to have it in the shop for a major repair. You know, we've had this Fiesta for over a year and a half now. It's been an absolute wonderful car, uh, but it wasn't until, you guys know exactly where I'm going with this. It wasn't until earlier uh, this year, back in either February or March, somewhere around there, I did have the Fiesta taken back to the dealership because we started to get the transmission shutter. We finally got the clearance to have the clutch changed. Yes, that's right. The Fiesta has a brand new dual clutch pack in its transmission now. It even, like when you put your foot off the brake, it even kicks into gear faster. So the clutch definitely engages a lot quicker from a stop compared to how the other one was. I mean, the shifting is just so smooth now and there's, uh, I'm just really impressed with how well it feels after the new clutch has been put in. You know, right now it's only seven below but there's a chance that it could get even colder. Our high today is uh, one below, but there's a chance for it to actually get up to like 10 below before the temperatures actually start rising today. This one was started last um, early yesterday morning, hasn't been started since, so it's pretty much sat for 24 hours with no attempt to start. Okay, here we go. Ah, it too is kind of slow, but she pulled through, so that's good. This car has been phenomenal, and uh, I, I really do think this is a car that we're gonna keep uh, way past the payoff. My wife doesn't want to get rid of it, and um, it's just <laughs> going to be, hey, <laughs> it's just a nice car, and uh, I'm really glad that we, we chose this one. I know. This is the camera. This is the camera. This is the camera. Hello. Oh. 
This is ridiculous. <sighs> this is how you should vlog right here. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to get some food right now. You can have this back. <laughs> That's it guys, that's the three year review on the 15 Fiesta. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So right now, it is what, February 15th, 2020. It is 7.30 in the morning, I'm going to work, and it is eight degrees. It's not as cold as I want it to be for a cold start, but eight degrees is pretty decent for a cold start. 15 Fiesta. Thirty-nine thousand eight hundred sixty-five miles. I know you're not really going to be able to hear it all that well because of the tech running, but make sure this is turned down. Yeah, eight degrees. A little slow, as to be expected. She is up and running. There's our blend door actuator. <laughs> something that I been wanting to take care of I have the part for it uh, obviously can't do anything about it while there's snow on the ground because I have to get down there to get to where it's at under the dash so we've had the car for a little over three years now it actually just turned over 40,000 miles not too long ago um, so we've had the car for three years when we bought the car this was already an existent issue and the car was still under warranty when we bought it, so it was replaced already. So, technically, um, this is the third time that, to my knowledge, the third time that we are going to be replacing this actuator. Switching over now. There it is. You can see it's not really all that bad to do. Is that the tab? No. Oh. Oh. Red lock? Yeah, it's red lock. So the red lock has to be undone, but I can't find the other squeeze tab or something. Alright, and it's out. Yep. I am going to try it real quick though, uh, with it sitting as is, because I do want to make sure that it's going to be okay before, you know, so you can see the gear turning. Turn this on, and it's on the front dash right now, go to the dashboard. So far, so good. Now I'm just going to go back to the dash. I think we're good.
I put tires on the car. Actually, <laughs> this is a good story. So last year, I put, um, or not last year, but I think it was in toward the end of 2020, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember now. I replaced the front tires with Kelly Edges. Good tire, good price. Um, didn't have the money at the time to do all four, so I got rid of the worst of the tires with some brand new Kellys. And we had the back tires making noise. Um, they were hand cooks that came with the car, and they were they were at the point where they were cracking. I mean, the car only has 45,000 miles on it, and the tires were coming apart, like the tread was cracking so badly. It was so, so hard sounding, you know, I mean, it just roar, roar, roar. So finally it was time to get tires for the back. However, because of supply chain issues, the Kelly Edges were no longer available and I did not want to mix and match tires on this car. So I ended up replacing all four just recently, uh, within the last month. So we have Continental's Extreme Contact tires on here now. So far, I really like these tires. I've never had a car with Continental's on them. These tires are really good so far. They're really smooth, they're quiet. They all balance really well when I balance them. Uh, road forced good. So we got four new tires. Like I said, this was within the last month. I gave in, spent the $430 on four new tires. Prices went up because of the supply issues, of course. And uh, I don't know, all I cared about was I didn't want any of those back tires blowing out. So we got these. In fact, in fact, I can show you, I have the two Kellys here in the trunk. They've only got like 5,000 miles on them, four or 5,000 miles. They're perfect. They are still in perfect condition. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sell them, if I should hold on to them for a little bit. I got to get them out of the trunk though. I want them in the house. Twenty fifteen Ford Fiesta SE, forty five thousand two hundred and fifty nine miles on the odometer. This battery is a few years old now, already I believe. Uh, I think I replaced this battery in early twenty nineteen. I want to say. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. This thing is reading at negative two right now. Here we go. Really slow crankage there, yep. Ooh. The one that has failed. Is the recirc door, also known as the air inlet door actuator because this one is in charge of either bringing fresh air from the outside of the car or recycling the air that is already in the car so when it goes into open position meaning we're letting air come in from the outside we heard it change no problem but let's recycle the air that's inside the car it is so when it goes into a closed position that is where we have our problem all right so with the glove box down it's right there <sighs> there we 
There it is. It looks just like the other one. Let's close it. Let's open it one more time. Done deal. Time. Definitely a lot darker than I was imagining it would be. So yeah, most uh, definitely it's a good thing we're doing this. So by comparison, oh yeah, <laughs> beautiful. But we gotta like bunch it up. Hopefully there's no debris or anything in here. So. battery is only, I always forget what year I put it in, 2019 maybe, it's a brand new battery in 2019, oh it's dimming out already, let's turn that off, let's turn the headlights off, let's also turn off, let's see what happens, here we go, <laughs> Yep, no surprise. start fail this year what better day could we have to do a simple repair on yes the fiesta what we have to do something to the fiesta for a change so six years of ownership with this car and we really haven't had to do a whole lot to it i mean little tiny things here and there mostly blend door actuators but nothing else has really failed on this car except for something that has developed recently and it finally quit working so we're gonna replace it today and uh i'll show you guys exactly what is going on it's really not that big a deal it really shouldn't be all that difficult to change either so this video should be fairly quick there's a small issue with this wiper stock here and um it has to do with the washer function um if we do the mist you see that that works just fine. If we go to the delay, it works just fine. I mean, obviously it's on delay. If we go to low, it works fine. If we go high, it works fine. But one thing I noticed is when we hit the button for the washer, we really don't have anything going on. I moved it up to delay, sorry. Now this is something that started uh, not too, too long ago. It was basically cutting out. And uh, for a while, we had washer function. If you mess with the button a little bit like this, you can get it to come on for a short time. But now there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Brand new, brand new switch here. Exactly like the other one. 
I'm just gonna try to plug it in. Um, I mean, I guess we could get it to lock yet. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's gonna stay in anyway. Um, it's a very, very interesting situation here. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. Right, so I got it sitting down on the connector here. It's locked into place. All right. So let's put the key back in and see if we have any wiper function. <laughs> Look at that, we do. Look at that. See, I knew, I had a gut feeling it couldn't be anything else. Um, just because the fact that the wiper and the washer pump weren't working together. All right, folks, so here we are. The 2015 Ford Fiesta SE. Seven years in. And she's mine now. Yes, that's right, finally. <laughs> um, she's paid off. Um, actually, I made the last payment on this thing yesterday. Um, it's actually a month ahead of schedule. Because after they took, uh, you know, the original payment for January out, the remaining payoff was less than the month's, a whole month's payment. And I was like, you know what, I just want to get it over with. So I went to the bank yesterday and I paid it off. <laughs> I'm excited because, honestly guys... And you know this, you watch the channel long enough, I'm sure. I've never owned a car long enough to pay it off. Like, every time I'm in a loan with a car, I, I trade the car in, usually, you know, like, maybe halfway through the term or something. And it's not that I really mean to do that, um, but what can I say? I just, I like my cars, and, you know, either something else catches my interest, or I get, you know tired of having the same thing I don't know what it is but because I'm simply not the primary driver of this car <laughs> um, I honestly really I, I have uh, no right to really you know get rid of it so my wife drives this one uh, you know and that's why uh, that's why we're, we're keeping it <laughs> because I, I really don't have a, a choice um, but no, in all seriousness, no. Um, yeah, so it's the first time I've ever paid a car off. And, uh, you know, to be quite honest, th there really is no reason at all. No no reason to, to even get rid of this car. Um, you guys kind of saw, you know, the first half hour of this vlog. You know, I pretty much documented this thing from the time that it entered the driveway, you know. And... You know, we've had little tidbits here and there, but, you know, I, I have honestly no real reason to, to get rid of this car. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's just a fantastic car. I say it every year, every update video that I do on this, uh, this car, it's, I, I, my opinion does not change at all. It really doesn't. So, yes, the 2015 Ford Fiesta SE just... Uh, you know, as uh, our little tradition, <laughs> since the anniversary of this car is in the dead of winter, I did take it through the car wash. They brought the lights back to this car wash. The last time I was here, there were no awesome lights. So this is fun again. It's like a disco. So, you know, uh, the laser wash is the best thing, next best thing to uh, doing the hand washing. So yeah, it's nice and cleaned up. We did have a lot of snow and ice and such uh, within the last uh, week, week or two. So we had to get the salt and stuff off of this uh, beautiful blue candy metallic Fiesta. It still, honestly, looks 
really, really good. Now, this car, you know, we've had it for seven years. It is technically a nine-year-old car at this point. We bought it at two years old, just into 21,000 miles when we bought it. Came off of a lease. And, uh, you know, we are down to... Uh, we are up to 52,000 miles on it. So we put about 30,000 miles on it since we purchased this thing in January of 2017. And I have tried my best to keep up with this car. Um, it's been tough, you know. I Every spring I try to give it a good detailing, a good washing and such. Try to keep it in pretty good standing for the most part i think it's paid off you know quite well the exterior does have some flaws now of course um and really no fault of our own <laughs> it's just you know a lot of it was circumstantial um and some of the flaws in the in the you know the body that have occurred over the years is also just natural uh just natural wear um stuff but you know overall she's she's beautiful she's still a beautiful car the headlights are still for the most part pretty clear um it's kind of hard to tell i mean they're probably not as clear as they were from day one um so yeah they could probably use a polishing you know in the spring uh i've mentioned the wiper arms the paint on the wiper arms they're still kind of uh you know, it's still kind of flaking. I think the, the driver's side started doing it not too, too long ago. So there's that. The molding here. Now this is getting worse like every year. It looks like it's it's an adhesive that holds it on. But it's, it's flapping and it's bending probably from, you know, the sun, of course. So I would probably have to rip this thing off if I wanted to get another one and re-adhere it. Yeah, it looks like now that it's up high enough now, I can kind of see it just looks like it's been glued on. I don't think there's any hardware that holds those uh, channels uh, on. And uh, what else? The other side is doing it also, as you can see. So again, that's just kind of you know happens naturally the car sadly sits in the Sun because I don't have a garage um, this weather stripping here is also cracked I don't think this particular weather stripping plays any part in keeping water out of the the car I think this is just what they would consider the decorative garnish but you know it's weathered you know nine years old same with the bottom half the bottom half is attached, I think, to the actual windshield cowl. So if I were to get a windshield cowl, it would probably come with that. Um, I hate these things. <laughs> I was hoping the car wash would get rid of them. Did not. Um, this side, I think, has seen more damage somehow. Um, but, you know, like this here, I've pointed this out before, that there... Uh, this here and the big dent here that occurred in the fender, those are all from shopping carts when my wife worked at a, a place of employment that was sharing a parking lot with a grocery store. So, yeah. Car kind of got marked up a little bit on this side from the shopping carts. There's a few scratches here. Uh, this thing here was existent when we bought the car. That was actually touched up. I think the paint might be coming off slightly there. Uh, I think this might have been there also. And this, see, it's been, we've had the car so long now, I don't remember what was here and what wasn't. But, I don't know, you know, there's just little things here and there. And I do have a little container of touch-up paint. I just haven't done it yet. Um, honestly, now that I have a canopy that I'm going to set back up in the driveway... Once we, you know, get into the spring for all the car work and stuff, it'll, it'll probably be easier for me to do that. Um, because now I can wash the car, you know, dry it off, leave, you know, have the car under the canopy where it's not in the direct sun and stuff, you know, and actually be able to touch up parts of, uh, 
you know, this this car that needs touched up on. Um, the, the back is pretty much flawless. There really isn't anything wrong with the back. The black cladding down here may be, you know, fading as um, normal black plastic usually does. That's that's pretty much it. I did mention at one point that this particular garnish here and same on the other side, these are discoloring um, compared to the rest of them. So there's really nothing to do about that. Nothing at all. The wheels are still, other than, you know, the uh, occasional brake dust, um, yeah, the wheels are still pretty decent shape. Uh, these are the same Continental tires that I've put on here, um, since, when, when was that, like 2021 or 2022? So they're a couple years old now, they're still holding up really well. Granted, the car, you know, doesn't get used as much as, like, my, uh, well, any of my other cars, really. Uh, I will say, however, we do have another major maintenance item. I'm kind of upset, actually, because we did it already, but we have to do it again. We'll get to that in the springtime. <coughs> Pardon me. It is a little chilly out here. What else? All the lights still work for the most part. The little turn signal bulbs on the mirrors, they both still work. I haven't had to replace any of those. Um... My gosh, in the seven years, I haven't had to do headlights or anything. Like, same bulbs, same fog light bulbs. Um, at one point within, like, the first couple months, I re had to replace one of the... I think it was this turn signal light. So I had to replace that turn signal light, and that was it. And I know there's one tiny bulb in the window here that is out that we're gonna get to at some point. But other than that, guys, uh, same same light bulbs. <laughs> Ain't that something? Uh, yeah, same, same light bulbs. The inside is still holding up really well. Obviously, we are in January, uh, and you know, there is stuff that has to be cleaned. Um, so there's no point in doing any vacuuming. I say this every year. But this is, I think, going to be the year that I try to fully, fully detail the inside of this car. I've been putting it off for many years. Now, don't get me wrong. I will go through, I'll do the dusting, the wiping, the cleaning of like, you know, the dash and, and such. But this, this coming year, this spring, or summer or whenever whenever we have nice weather and I have the canopy out you know I'm going for you know taking the, these floor mats out and we're gonna scrub the floor mats the seats now the charcoal seats for the most part not too terrible but the bottom the seat bottoms you know condensation marks from like your drinks if you have your drink between your legs and it's sweating you know ev the thing with this fabric is every little mark stays so you can try to dry up a wet spot, and it's going to keep showing up. Um, and that's the only reason why I haven't tried to clean any of the spots off of these seats is because I've been afraid to. I don't want to make these seats look worse, you know, than they do. But, you know, I'm at the point now where I just can't stand looking at the, the wet marks and stuff that have been here for, you know, a few years, you know, and uh, I just have to do it. So we're going to actually attempt to scrub the seats probably this year. Um, but I mean, like other than that, you know, the seats are still in really good shape. You know, the seat backs for the most part still look great. It's the seat bottoms, you know, you can see where like, you know, cups have been sweating. And even when the rain, like if it's a heavy rain and the rain gets in here, you know, it leaves spots. You know, you're going to see that stuff. But other than that... Uh, no tears or anything. This this bracket did break a few years ago. Um, it is what it is. It doesn't really affect anything as far as the seat and comfort. This little piece behind the door handle every now and then pops out. Um, 
makeup stains from my wife. I have tried, uh, you know, <laughs> a couple times to wipe all the makeup or whatever it is off of the wheel and stuff because I can't stand it. So that'll be attacked again in the spring. Uh, the back seat just has some stuff from the store that wasn't brought in yet. I don't think the carpets under the mats are bad, if I'm not mistaken. I think just, you know, you know the actual floor mats it's themselves. But, like, under here, this still looks pretty good. I mean, you know, the dirt and stuff doesn't travel. This car has never not had these floor mats in it. So, you know, I want to take these out, really hose them off, scrub them, you know, do whatever I can to get them to look you know as good as possible the other side honestly isn't too awful because well um, my wife is usually the only one in this car I know <laughs> so nobody else is ever really in here so um, that's actually you know that sides not too terrible there's some stuff here some you know trash and stuff that you know we have to get to throwing out but uh other than that, for the most part, other than it still, like I said, needing a good detailing this spring, um, you know, nothing appears to be cracking or coming up off the dash. Uh, everything is pretty much still sitting pretty uh, inside the car. Both key fob batteries are low. I don't know how they haven't died yet, but I do have to get, <laughs> get around to replacing both key fob batteries. Um, so that's a thing. Where are we sitting now? Um, we are, that's going to kick on probably, so let me turn that down. Mm, 52,052. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of mileage that we threw on this car in our ownership. Um, my cars usually take more of the beating than this car does. So I think that has probably really helped contribute to the longevity of this car so far and why everything is still in pretty decent shape, but at the same time, I also do try my best to attack anything that has gone wrong with it. And speaking of gone wrong, you're gonna notice here in a second. <laughs> it's back. It's back. That's right. So, Blendor actuator, Number four is coming. This is the third one that I put in in 2020. So that was four years ago. The clicking started uh, just a couple months ago. And uh, I figure we're gonna ride it out again until um, you know the spring-ish. It still works. When it gets to this last position though, which is always the air coming through here, that's where it makes the uh, that's where we have the problem. I don't know what it is about that specific spot. It was on the windshield, so I'm gonna put it back. But you can hear it change is fine, so as long as it's still working now, I'm just gonna ride it out until, again, nicer weather, and then we'll get another actuator and play the game of going through the column and back here all over again. <laughs> so, there's that. Uh, everything else is working, you know, uh, my wife still says that she has a weird thing with her phone not connecting right away sometimes, and I don't understand it. <laughs> my phone, I never have a problem connecting to this, my Ford Touch system. In fact, I like this system a lot, um, but I've never had any issue with it, so I'm not exactly sure if it's her phone that, that does it, or or if I have to actually do a reset on this, but I've never had a problem. So, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah, seven years in, everything is still working. The ambient lights still work. All the heat, the, both heated seats still work. Um, other than that actuator, that's clicking again. Um, that's the next thing I gotta do, really. Oh, we got the fan on now. The 1.6 liter is still running like a top. Just had an oil change done about 300 miles ago. I really got nothing else to say. 
Looks like we got some uh, water from the car wash, I think. Hope that's water. Let it drip down there. You know how the car washes are. Yeah, there's water here, here, so. So there's that, but that's probably nothing. Looks like the uh, thing is bending outward. There we go. All right. Um, battery number three. So as you might have seen in some of the previous footage, this is a new battery. Um, it's been in here for a year. So that's the third battery I've had to put into it. We did the clean air filter not that long ago. We did a clean cabin filter also not that long ago. I uh, just told you guys about the oil change. The transmission clutch, the DCT clutch, is still performing top notch. Still haven't had any issues with it. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't remember what Ford service data calls for, but you know, the car's coming up on 10 years. I'm not sure if that's when their coolant's got to be changed. So I'll have to relook into that, but we might be doing a coolant change not too, too far from now, like within the next year or so. That's it. She's still going. Um, as far as the cosmetics, we're, go we're going to go back a step, but you can kind of see as in Ford tradition, some of the paint is starting to kind of show itself coming off around the, the sides. Um, that is very common on some of these later Ford models. I'm not exactly sure why, but they all do the same peel and crack thing. So that is slowly starting to occur here. Another big spot that I noticed that it was doing it, and I think this was a couple years ago that I found this, but this door here, whew, this door is taking a beating as far as this uh, rusting. And it's just on the inside. You don't see it on the outside. The outside still looks good. But I noticed this one day years ago when I was washing the car and I usually try to dry. You know, when I'm done washing, I try to dry. And uh, yeah, it's bubbling down here a little bit too. But this, this really came on all really quick for some reason. Um, that's the only spot. I think all of the other doors are still. Yeah, look at that. See, this door is still great. It's the same side too, so you would have thought something would have shown up. This door also looks really good. And the driver's door looks flawless too. It's just that door, still. I don't know if it's because, you know, the uh, those doors don't get opened maybe as much. But, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, the trunk. Is the trunk doing it? Uh, there's a little bit right there, a little bit of cracking, but nothing's peeling yet. I don't know. The tires aren't back there no more. <laughs> what else? I think that's it. I really, oh, brakes, okay. Let me shut this off real quick, so we don't have the fan running. The fan is screaming. Okay. So brakes. So you saw we did brakes in 2020, and that was roughly around 40,000 miles, if memory is serving me right. But years have passed. Large amount of brake dust off of these pads. I've been so unhappy with these pads since I put them on. They make noise and the dust is awful. And I remember specifically talk, talking to Napa when I bought these. I wanted factory spec pads um, and I really don't think they gave me factory spec pads. Which is probably why they were so cheap. 
So yeah, the brake dust has always been awful. The squealing still comes and goes, but for a long time it was so consistent. And when I took the car to work like 300 miles ago to do the oil change, I pulled the wheels off to inspect these brakes. And guys, these front brakes are almost down to nothing already. And they've only got like 12,000 miles on them. So we have to do a brake job again. Uh, I'm actually really, really upset and surprised at how wore down these pads have gotten. I don't understand it. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, like the fact that the car doesn't get driven, you know, heavily all the time. I don't really think that that's it. But I've done my best to, you know, clean the hardware and stuff. We had to reuse the hardware. But everything moved freely, you know, when we put everything back together. And when I took the pads out to inspect them, they came out with ease. So it's not like they were seizing. I think they were just crappy pads. So we have to do another brake job on this. Again, going to have to wait till the spring. We got some time, but um, I'm very upset about that. So we, we, that's another thing we have to add to the list. We have drums back here. I haven't looked at the drums yet. Um, it might not hurt if we tried to do an inspection of the drums. Maybe, you know, kind of clean the shoes off in there, uh, the brake shoes. Um, you know, usually for the most part, drums are almost maintenance-free type, but it probably wouldn't hurt to take the actual drum off and spray some brake clean and scuff up the, the shoes and see how they're going. But I'm sure those haven't worn down, you know, as bad as our front brakes have, uh, you know, these years. So this video has been long enough now, and uh, I think we're going to call it. I really don't have anything else to say. So other than the fact that, you know, we did... Um, you know, a couple blend door actuators, a recirculation door uh, actuator, one set of brakes. Uh, I did two batteries, so I'm not including the one. So we're on the third battery now. Um, four new tires. That's really it. The, the, when the clutch was replaced, it was still under warranty. Uh, the sun visor was replaced under warranty. I really haven't had to throw any real money into this car yet in the seven years that we've had it. So she's a good egg. She's going to stay. So yes, the 2015 Ford Fiesta, phenomenal car. Uh, once again, I say it every time, and I still stand by it. I do not regret this purchase one bit. Um, so they're really good cars. You know, I'm actually surprised people always knocking on like the cheaper ended cars and stuff sometimes they're really really good you take care of them long enough you know I've seen these things well over 200k we looked at that one that was traded in um, for uh, the back lot cars the one time and it had like 270 some thousand miles on it I mean that thing and it still didn't even look all that bad so it, it's possible you can make them last you know and uh, I'm really hoping that this is one of those situations where we can just keep going with it and, you know, literally drive it until, well, honestly, around here it's probably going to be the salt. Hopefully many, many, many years. The, the underside of this car is still pretty clean, but the salt is eventually what what will probably kill this car before anything mechanically does because of where we live. But that's a long, long ways away, I hope. Um, so that's it. Uh, the longest running car on the channel at this point in time also. Seven years in, going into year number eight. 2015 Ford Fiesta SE. If you enjoyed this, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I got people over here playing baseball and they're looking at me. So I'm going to go. I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, thanks for watching and take care.